Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another comparison video. We're going to compare Traveler's Imperial credits to Star Citizen's United Earth credits. And uh, the first thing we're going to start off with is a laser rifle. So we have the Gallant Energy Rifle for 4650 United Earth credits versus 8,000 credits in Traveler. Uh, so that's actually a little bit over half price. So 58%. So that's telling me that the United Earth credits aren't as valuable or they don't have the same exchange rate as an Imperial credit from Traveler. Now, why am I doing this? Well, because I want to see if it's universal across the board. So now here is a submachine gun from both the tra Traveler for only 400 credits and the United Earth credits are 2110, making the machine gun way expensive in Star Citizen, making it 528%. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I want to see if mission payouts are equivalent to the same type of missions in the role-playing game Traveler. Because in Traveler, you can take missions that are 100,000 credits or so. And I wanted to see if that equates to Star Citizen. Now, here are some magazine costs. A laser rifle's magazine could be up to 3,500 credits for 100 shots where in Star Citizen, it's only like 12 credits, making magazines only 0.3%. Now, if you look at a submachine guns magazine, they're equivalent, they're equal, 100% straight across the board. I thought that was um, interesting that they thought like bullets would be about the same cost, but energy magazines would be a lot cheaper. Now, I'm comparing the Star Citizen flight suit for 1,000 credits equivalent to a traveler's tailored vac suit because of the comfort and the ease of wear and how it doesn't affect you. And so with a thruster pack, because uh, all of the Star Citizen armors and flight suits all have a thruster pack, so I included that in the cost. Now the armor, uh, the combat armor, I'm considering that it's not a powered armor, so it's not, it's not, it, it's not powered, so I'm considering it combat armor instead of battle dress. Uh, maybe the Titan will be equivalent to the battle dress. So I took all of the individual component parts, the legs, the arms, the core, the undersuit, and added it all together with the thruster pack, and it came to 98, I'm sorry, it came to 10, 710 United Earth credits, where in Traveler, a combat armor, only tech 13, with a thruster pack would be 9,800 credits. So that was 11%. Now I took a took an all-terrain vehicle, the Tumbrel here, and I compared its 26,000 credits to the Star Citizens all-terrain assault vehicle, the Gecko, for 42,000 credits. That's about 60%. The only thing so far that has a higher cost than the, the Traveler is the submachine gun. It was like 500% the cost. But vehicles, everything else, about half price. That's what I'm noticing. Um, all right, so let's continue on. I'm gonna check out uh, the Constellation. We're using the Constellation Phoenix, and I'm gonna compare it to the Traveler Free Trader, because they're about the same cargo capacity, about the same crew capacity. The bridge looks very similar. The uh, size of the ship, 200 tons. Uh, the number of turrets, two turrets. So basically firepower, crew capacity, cargo capacity, size, speed, all that is very equivalent to the Free Trader. Now the Constellation Phoenix is 6 million uh, versus the Traveler uh, Free Trader, which is 45 million. So you're looking at about a 14%. So uh, Star Citizen's value right now is a lot lower. The credit value is higher, but the item value is lower. 
And, and s I'm going to take this opportunity to look around on the inside of the ship just to kind of show you some similarities. And I'm going to bring up a couple of pictures that um, I have of the Traveler interiors of ships. And this is the bridge of the Constellation and of the bridge of a, fa a far trader. It's very similar, you know, in look and design and shape and, you know, how open it is and things like that. And uh, here's another part of the ship where you got bunk beds and then you go into the staterooms and uh, staterooms are very small rooms, maybe a table, maybe a bed. And you can kind of see that here uh, on the right where she's kind of leaning on a door in her stateroom. And then across the hall is the common area. Now, in the original constellation, the Andromeda, it was very much like that. Uh, just not rooms for for staterooms. They were they were, but there was a common room like that. All right, so we're looking at right now, generally speaking, and generally speaking, we're looking at about 15% for ships, and uh, let's, there's a little cargo hold down here. Looking around nice okay now let's go check out a smaller ship I, I grabbed the Mustang and I'm going to compare it to a traveler's scout ship because a scout ships a single seater a single uh, seat in the cockpit maybe two and it's got a it's got a bunk and it can it could, could handle four players so it might be a little bit larger maybe a little bit larger than a Mustang, but I really couldn't find. I thought it was the best comparison, and even though it's only one percent of the cost, you know, uh, three hundred ninety-one thousand compared to thirty-six million, uh, the Scout Ship might be better compared to a Cutlass, uh, but I thought the Cutlass had more cargo space than a Scout Ship does. All right, so we're going to continue on. I'm going to show you uh, basically just having fun walking around in the, in the ship, looking around, trying to find out how I can get into the rear of this thing. But here he goes. I figured it out. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you that it's not just a single seater. There's actually cargo or crew. Co and I'm glitching outside the wall. There's a crew component of this where you actually have a bed and a and a fresher and uh, some place to cook your meals and stuff like that. So there is a single stateroom in the back uh, of your Mustang. But the Mustang probably, I, it's probably an unfair comparison on this ship right here, uh, but it is, is the one I was working with. 1%, I bet you if, if I found a more appropriate ship, like maybe the Cutlass, it'd probably be around 10%. Okay, so as you know, you take the, the smallest percentage, which was 0.3, and the largest percentage, which is 528, you take that out of the equation, and I compare the other uh, percentages, and it comes to 36% is the average percentage that, that I found out. And if the average percentage difference is, thir let's say, 36%, let's just say uh, if if everything was working out the way it should, missions that pay a hundred thousand in Traveler, the equivalent mission in uh, Star Citizen should pay thirty-six thousand because their uh, economy level is a little bit different. It's a uh, uh, thirty-six percent of what you would normally find in Traveler. So, with with that being said. When I find a mission out there that's only paying 7,000 credits, which is really high right now in Star Citizen, that's still not high enough. That's still, it's not worth the mission is what I'm trying to say. The missions aren't paying out, in my opinion, they're not paying out what they should be paying out for the costs of everything that we're having to buy. If you have to buy armor, if you have to buy ammo or buy laser rifles or whatever, the missions aren't paying enough. 
you've got to do five missions to equivalent e equivalent of one mission in Traveler. So that's that's my evaluation, and uh, there was really I really did this for myself, but I figured I'd go ahead and share this with all of you guys on the web, so you guys can uh, kind of see where I'm coming from. But uh, CIG, if you're watching, your missions they've got to pay more, or the cost of all the equivalents of everything we're buying needs to be one fifth of what they are now. So multiply your mission rewards by five or lower the cost by five, but I wouldn't lower the cost by five. I think your costs are very good. I think the submachine gun cost was way too high, 2,000 for something that's probably only worth 400 credits. Uh, but you don't want it to be, it's already half the cost of a laser rifle, so if it does about the same amount of damage, then maybe that is a good cost. Uh, but if it doesn't even do the similar damage to a laser rifle, then maybe you lower the cost even more. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming out and checking out this video, and I'll see you in the verse.